Around 8 a.m. on March 29, 2025, Myanmar was jolted by a powerful earthquake of magnitude 7.7 .7 near Mandalay. Buildings crumbled, over 1,700 lives were lost, still counting, and the region's geological fragility was exposed. The quake's epicenter lay just 17.2 kilometers from Mandalay, Myanmar's second-largest city. The tremor reverberated into Thailand, where a skyscraper in Bangkok collapsed, killing many people. Northeastern India, too, felt the shockwaves. This earthquake was triggered along the Sagang Fault, a major geological fault line slicing through the heart of Myanmar. It marks the tectonic plate boundary where the Indian plate grinds past the Eurasian plate. Earthquakes occur when the Earth's rigid outer shell, the lithosphere, breaks due to tectonic stress. The Segaying Fault is a strike-slip fault, where two blocks of the Earth's crust slide horizontally past each other, releasing stored energy in seismic waves. Myanmar lies in one of Southeast Asia's most active seismic zones. Since 1900, it has seen at least six earthquakes of magnitude 7 or more along the Sagaing Fault, including the deadly 7.0 magnitude quake in 1975 and a 7.6 quake in 1988. According to geologists, earthquakes like the one in March 2025 are expected once every few hundred years along sections of the Sagaing Fault, but exact predictions remain elusive. This makes early warning systems and preparedness absolutely vital. This quake reaffirms the dynamic interaction between the Indian and Eurasian plates. The northward movement of the Indian plate at about 5 cm per year exerts massive stress on adjoining fault zones from the Himalayas to Southeast Asia. Though classified as a shallow earthquake with a depth of only 10 km, the energy released was colossal. Shallow quakes cause more surface-level destruction as shockwaves reach cities and buildings with greater force. Six powerful aftershocks followed the main quake, further rattling the already devastated region. These aftershocks signal ongoing tectonic adjustments, and communities must remain alert for potential secondary tremors. From Kathmandu to Yangon, millions live along fault lines with minimal seismic resilience. Rapid urbanization, unregulated construction, and weak infrastructure increase vulnerability, not just in Myanmar, but across South and Southeast Asia. Experts stress the need for seismic zoning, disaster-resilient architecture, and public drills. The quake is a wake-up call to prioritize investment in earthquake early warning systems, building codes, and public awareness campaigns. The Sagaing Fault will continue to move, we can't stop earthquakes, but we can prepare better. Investing in science, policy, and people is the only sustainable path forward. Thanks for watching. For more civil services, ready insights on global issues, subscribe and stay informed.